Welcome to Unit 1, Lab 2, Page 1, Making Programs Talk. On this page, we're going to be introduced to the project that we'll eventually create by experimenting with a bunch of blocks that are already in this preloaded project that we're about to open. All you need to do is click here to open up this project and then save it to your Snap account. Make sure that you're logged in, otherwise you won't be able to save. So if you click on the cloud, if it says log out, that means you're logged in. And if you go to file, save, it's going to save it into your account. If we follow the instructions for A, B, C, and D, it tells us to click on the blocks so that we can see what each block does. So let's click on the who block first to see what happens. So it says Senora, and if I click it again, it says my cat, Hannah, Senora, Miss C. So it looks like it's giving a lot of names or people or animals, I think. Let's actually open up the who block to look behind the scenes at what's happening. So to do that, I'm going to right click on who and I'm going to go over to edit. And when I hit edit, you'll notice that this tells us exactly how this block was created. The who block is using a report block to return a name or an animal from this list that's been provided. And it does that randomly by using this item random of list. So this item random block, it takes in a list as an input. So I'm going to drag this list inside there and it will report back a random name or animal. Notice that list and item random of and who as well as does what and gossip all have this rounded oval shape. This means that they're all reporter blocks. As you may remember from the last lab, reporter blocks in Snap are called functions in other languages. When we click on B does what, it says is in a bandwidth, is in a bandwidth, loves, loves, ran away from. So it looks like it's saying a random item from some kind of list. And if I right click and I go to edit, I can see the items in that list. Listen to, loves, ran away from, helped, is in a bandwidth. So that is how these blocks work. And let's just see what happens when we click on gossip. Senora is in a band with my cat. Senora helped my cat. Hannah ran away from my cat. My cat listened to Miss C. So it looks like it's putting the who and does what together to come up with some kind of sentence, to, a gossip sentence. Let's right click, let's edit and see how it actually works. And it uses who and does what and also uses who one more time. And it uses this join block. This join block, reporter block, puts the sentence together. And the dots between the phrases stand for spaces. You'll notice that there's a comment over here on the right side that I just read, which tells us exactly how this works. Now let's see what happens when I click on D, or the Say block, Say and Broadcast. You'll notice that Say and Broadcast have this different kind of shape, meaning they are not reporter blocks. They're actually command blocks. And command blocks are a little different because they tell the computer to do something. So let's click on it and see what happens. And it looks like the sprites are actually talking to each other. So the gray one said something first, and then the green one responded like a second later. I'm going to click it again, and the same thing happened. The gray one said something first, then the green sprite. In the instructions, it says to click in the sprite corral and select Sprite 2 to access its scripts and costumes. And now we can see the scripts that belong only to Sprite 2. So Sprite 2 has a Who To block, a Gossip To block, and it has a hat block that says when I receive your turn. So it looks like when it receives the broadcast from the gray sprite, it waits one second and then says Gossip 2. Let's click on Who To just a few times to see what happens. And it looks like it's saying a whole bunch of different names. Maybe Miss C, I think I saw one time there. Let me right click and edit just to see exactly what it's saying. It also tells us that we can add more items if we click on this little right arrow, this black arrow, and notice it went to a second line because it needed more space. So I can put in a second name over here, let's say Dave. If I hit apply and then hit OK and I click who to enough times, eventually it should say Dave randomly. So unlike the gray sprite, it looks like sprite 2 or the green sprite 
only works when it receives your turn, when it receives that broadcast message. And if I go back to the gray sprite, sprite one will broadcast your turn to sprite two. What a broadcast block does is it announces to all of the sprites some kind of message. And some of those sprites have a hat block that allows them to receive that message or event and respond to it appropriately. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.